My name is Katrin McMillan. I'm the founder of Project For All. And we're working on a project here in Nigeria called Project Hello World. And Hello World is child-led digital education. So we're building outdoor, solar-powered, internet-enabled computer kiosks with rugged computer screens that can survive dust storms and monsoon rain that will be active 24 hours a day. A few years ago, I launched a project in Nigeria and I met one of the head teachers of one of the local schools. And um, I started to meet the children. I saw problems and the deficits that the school had. I saw that in that particular school, which is not far from here, they had a number of computers that had been donated but no ability to use them because there was no power and because they were full of dust. Also, the teachers had no books and no resources, no learning tools. And I started to think, well, how can we, how can we tackle this? How can we make sure that there's a constant supply of books, a constant supply of teachers, a constant supply of learning materials, a constant supply of inspiring, exciting videos and games to play? The goal of this project was just to start something, to plant a seed, to work with the community in Soledja to build something that would be useful to them. Katrin is trying to expand the project and have it help communities do these kinds of projects all over Africa, all over the world. This will continue growing. There's been a lot of support. You know, we have a lot of people around every day helping, wanting to learn as well. So this is all the computers that run the Hello Hub. And there's many different systems in here all kind of packed into this tight place. Every one of these network cables was made by someone in the community. I can actually post things sitting down in Kaduna and address the women here. So I think I see a lot of growth and development from just this project. What I'd like to do with these systems is to come back to Nigeria, hopefully with a plan to build at least 10, because when you hit 10, the economy of scale kicks in and the systems become infinitely cheaper. But to actually put together a task force and train a group of engineers, a group of community organizers, in how to do this in a central location and then send them out into the community to go and build them with our support but in that way these systems can be grown and built beyond us. We can't build 10,000 but if we train enough people we can easily build a million. <laughs>